Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey. My name is Neil and we're here today to talk about the Boston Bruins. Now, I don't have any Boston hats, I don't have any Boston jerseys, I don't have any Boston shirts, I don't have any Boston stickers, I don't have anything Boston. So, unfortunately, I can't rep any merchandise here, but maybe in the future I'll get something, who knows. So how will the Boston Bruins end their season? Let's take a look at their record currently. They're 12-12-0 and at home, they're 14-10-0. And six on the road, which is a pretty decent road record uh, compared to a lot of teams in the league. I, I didn't realize that when I was doing the research. Boston's pretty good on the road, and they're currently on a one-game losing streak. So they've got 138 goals for and 143 goals against, which makes them a, a minus five. And they've got 54 games played and 28 games to go. So not a lot of games. But if we apply one of three categories to the remaining teams that they play, we can create a number and then a percentage. So there's three categories, winnable, on the fence games, and losable games. So if you do that, add them up, you do the math, we've got uh, two winnable games. This is the lowest so far of any of the videos and teams that I've done. They've got 19 on the fence games and then seven, seven losable games. So once we translate that to a percentage, it's a 7.1% winnable chance, a 67.9% on the fence chance, and a 25% losable chance. And up until now... Uh, Boston's had a really interesting season, and, and some positive, some negatives, and most of most of it negative, unfortunately. But if we if we dig a little deeper into the situation in Boston, I mean, there's a lot of storylines. There's I'm, I'll start with the goaltending. So uh, Rask, I think, was injured a little bit at the beginning of the season, and but he's played most of the season, and he's played really well. Uh, Rask has has been very consistent for Boston, not only this year, but um, for the past while, ever since they won the Cup and he took over. Uh, Rask has played really well, and he's been a, a real solid um, player on the team. But my issue here is the backup goaltending situation in, in Boston is completely abysmal. It's terrible. I think when the backup plays in Boston, they're 1-9-1 one, and one or something crazy like that. Like, it's it's not good. Boston does not have a reliable backup, and that puts a lot of pressure onto Karask. Uh, jumping over to the next storyline, we have the coach, uh, Claude Julien. It seems every year there's rumors that Claude Julien will get fired, and it's been that way since uh, every year since they won the Cup, starting the year after. And uh, it's it's just one of those things I don't understand... I don't understand if, if if it's the fans that are creating this rumors and it gets to the media, or if it's the media that's creating this rumors and it gets to uh, the fans, or if it's people behind the scenes working with Boston or working in the league and they just hear it and it's it's actually a thing, like in and Boston's considering it. But every year it comes out, and this year is probably the closest it'll ever come to be being the truth. Uh, I don't think he's going to get fired. I know a lot of people do, so I guess I have the unpopular opinion. I don't think Boston fires Claude Julien. If they do, they do it in the off season, and uh, they'll let him finish this season as the coach. But you know what? I could be wrong. <laughs> the crazier things have happened. And we just saw Ken Hitchcock uh, get fired from the St. Louis Blues, and I didn't see that coming. So you know what? Anything could happen. And then the third storyline for Boston is not really a storyline of this season, but you know, they've made some questionable moves over the past couple of years, and, and three names come to mind when I think about that. I mean, we've got uh, Dougie Hamilton, we've got Sagan, and Boychuk, and those are three pretty big names, and what they've received in return hasn't really been that amazing. I mean, Boychuk left, I think, mainly due to cap issues with Boston. Uh, I think maybe Hamilton for the same reason, a little bit of a little bit of that, a little bit of uh, maybe he didn't get along with some of the teammates or didn't get along with Claude or he didn't get along with the other people in the Boston organization. And then Tyler Sagan, they've got Louis Erickson in return, and, and Erickson is a great player, but he's no Tyler Sagan in my opinion. Uh, that's not a knock against uh, Louis Erickson, like I said. Very good player. But, you know, some questionable moves there. And Boston has really come close every single season in the past couple years. And, and you know what? They might come close again this year to make the playoffs, but uh, they're, on the, they're on the bubble they might not make it, and if they don't make it, it'll be three years in a row, and that is very frustrating for Boston Bruins fans. I work with a Boston Bruins fan, a very loyal, a very diehard, and uh, a lot of the times a very biased Boston Bruins fan. He loves to talk Boston, but uh, you know what? He he must be very frustrated, and not only him, but a lot of Boston Bruins fans. And uh, I actually have another Boston Bruins fan uh, friend He's one of my best friends, and his father is a Boston fan too, and I know that he has a lot of frustration as well as his father. So, 
it's not uh it's not a great time to be a Boston fan and not necessarily because they're a bad team they're not a bad team they're they're a good team it's just the fact that they're you know always on the bubble kind of looking in the past couple of years and that's a frustrating position to be in because you're so close but yet so far away but I wish Boston all the luck I I don't think they're going to make the playoffs this year just because of their their games played versus the other people around them but um, I would suspect that Boston probably will make the playoffs next year. Maybe they'll have a new coach and a few different lineup changes. Um, but I can probably expect to see Boston in the playoffs next year. So with all that said, that kind of wraps up my Boston Bruins video and how I think they'll end their season. Now, if this is your first time on Post to Post, I really think you should hit the subscribe button down below. Um, if you don't want to subscribe, you know, that's fine. But tell me why you don't want to subscribe. Is there anything I can do to improve or anything I can do to earn your subscription? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, you can hit me up on Facebook. I'm at Post to Post Show there. Or on Twitter, I'm at Post to Post Show, Post -to -post Show there as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. Every time you guys come back, it really means a lot to me. This channel is pretty young right now, and uh, I'm making as, as many videos as I can and really trying to grow this channel. So it means a lot every time I see you guys come back and I see the views kind of creep up slowly. Um, it, it, it means a lot. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again. Adios.